Well, after that really embarrassing loss last round, I'm down in 12th place, so let's see if I can win this match and hopefully get into 8th um, off tiebreakers. Possible, though highly unlikely. Goblin Guide, alright. I really need him to not play idle under the Great Revel. Please no idle on of the Great Revel. That's not idle on. Please play a lava spike. Fort Bolt. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'll see what this guide reveals. Retract. Do I want another retract? Yeah. I think another retract should probably be fine. Maybe that's a little greedy. Come on, give me a cheerio. Excellent. The lamest of retracts, but... going. See how long I can keep this up for. Oh yeah. This is really good. Because I got this revival that I can use to find the... So... Revival back or retract. Play the opal. Play the sigil. Retract. One. Two. Make a white. Make another white. Now I'm drawing two cards per. Should be drawing the rest of my deck. So I just need to have I just need to draw my grape shot at this point. There's the grape shot, so first one. Red, second opal, and grape shot for forty six on turn two. All right, uh, I want burdened and forged tenders and path to exiles and not repeal or noxious revival or paradoxical outcome and that'll be good
I really wish this was a pure steel paladin. I'd probably go for a turn one, if it was. Uh, I don't think I want the next pure steel, but I'll take the burnt and fork tender. I don't need the windswept teeth. Oh, maybe I should have discarded the hollow fountain. Play a Forge Tender. And here I'll play the Hollowed Fountain. And then I'll probably try to go up next turn. want to try to go off. Yeah. Interesting to me that he didn't try to kill the SRAM again. Okay. Draw another card. That is a lot of SRAMs. For now, I'm going to beat him down harder than he's beating me down. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm totally gonna block. What, you gonna bolt my SRAM? Sure. I have SRAMs for days. Oh, 
Perfect. Retract. That's that's the game right there. So six and two. Uh, and it depends on my tiebreakers, whether or not that's good enough to be the top eight. If you don't see a video um, of me playing in the top eight, then assume that I did not make it. And if you do, well, there you go. Um, it was pretty embarrassing to lose that previous match, match seven. I definitely made a lot of misplays, including the extremely obvious fail to attack for lethal damage when you have... Or fail to attack and then later on, you know, miss lethal by that amount because you didn't attack, but... Oh well. Such is life. Uh, don't always play well, especially when you're playing a bit loose against a deck you're not used to. It's so rare that you attack for actual normal damage with Cheerios that I just wasn't expecting it to matter. I am just kind of clicked through it. Alright, so 6-2 started at rank 12. Uh, one person's at 7-0 right now. So we assume that four of these guys win. So four of them move down to X2, and then it becomes a tiebreaker game. I think I'm probably going to end like ninth or 10th. I don't think I'm going to move up to 8th, but I suppose it is possible. It really depends on what happens elsewhere. Anyways, thanks for watching the videos, and uh, if there's not a uh, top 8, then I'll see you next time.